Well, I tell you what, I'm really, really impressed with Ty. I think Ty has, I thought he started a little slower, and now he has just poured it on. Uh, Demetrius Douglas, a true freshman, uh, I tell you, this kid's going to, he, he's a special player as of a week. But his want to, his work ethic, his how, uh, Chris Bell, we'll see what, 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 what's with Chris, but Chris has come on strong. Again, again, again another true freshman. Two true freshmen really stood out to me. Uh, Melvin Holland has done a tremendous job. Eric uh, has done a tremendous job. We got to continue to have other guys grow up, and and that's that's the biggest thing. Is it's very difficult. Our practices are harder. We're demanding more out of them than we ever have in the last six months because it's the next day. It's the next opportunity to grow. We are not going to let them be the same as they were yesterday. They're going to have to grow, and that's very difficult for human beings, let alone 17 to 22 year old young men uh, in the realm of football, where it's very difficult in training camp. Yeah, when, you, when you see uh, when you see Bell and Douglas in particular, I mean the speed of this. And the Saying too big for them. That doesn't bother them what whatsoever. I mean, if you know Omar Douglas, right, you know what kind of player he was. That's his son, uh, Demetrius. Uh, he, he's not afraid of anything, as you can see. I mean, he looks like he's a three-year veteran already. Chris Bell, instead of playing video games, uh, Chris Bell hates video games. He'd rather go outside and play. He'd rather go play seven on seven. He'd rather go play football. He'd rather toss a ball to himself in the yard. He'd rather do ball drills. He'd rather be outside different type of kid, right? And that's that's why you see them performing at such a high level. We're still in the mix. Uh, he's, doing it. he's getting better. Uh, we just got to get consistency from him, you know, and uh, he knows that. Uh, he's getting better. It's hard. We're putting a lot on his plate because if you're going to be a guy, you're going to be the dude, then you have to handle a lot on your plate. And that's nothing, that's, that's by design, 100%. It's not by coincidence. That's by design. I want to see how he responds because when you've got a bell cow and you've got a guy that can play, he's got to be put in very, very tough positions. And you got to watch him perform. You've got to watch him respond. Uh, you got to teach him how to be able to do that. Uh, remember, he's got 37 catches in his career. And we're, we, we all act like we have, you know, uh, 44 returning starters that went to the Rose Bowl last year. That we, that's the way we feel. That, that he has to come along. You know, 37 catches in our system uh, in the last few years will put you fourth, maybe. You know, and we, we've got to bring in, in one season let alone a career, so we've got to bring him along. He's willing to do it. He's changing every day, and he's growing, and you can see it. He's failing, and he's responding. He's failing, he's responding. He's failing, he's responding. He's succeeding. He's failing, responding, failing, responding, failing, responding, succeeding. And those are the things that's very, very tough to do because it's uncomfortable.